cover up murder case of Ted R. Schmidt, 93 of 99. In this case, we're going to be talking about one of the EMSs that arrived. We're also going to be talking about a Dr. Borges report when he arrived on the scene. If you care to watch any of the other videos, they're both on Facebook and YouTube. On YouTube, they're under Susan L. Schmidt. That's S-U-S-A-N-L, middle initial, S-C-H-M-I-D-T. Now, nowhere in this upfront personal murder case has there ever been any mention of a PVC pipe. But this is a supplemental input. In my initial report by Boley, he, um, I don't know for sure what Boley is, B-O-O-L-E, he puts... He's a CST. He's a CST. A crime scene there, a crime supervisor. Supervisor. There is a typographic error regarding the measurements from the victim to the residents. This is on page 9 in the scene processing section. The correct sentence is as followed. From the victim's right foot to the 90 degree angle of the PVC pipe was approximately 6 foot 2 inches. From the victim to the west entrance of the residence and approximately 80 feet 5 from the victim to the left rear wheel of the Pontiac was approximately 8 foot and 10 inches. Now, in here, which I don't understand where the rest of this is, because we sure didn't get a copy of any of that. The night of the incident occurred was free of participation and the ground surfaces were dry. The victim was subpoenaed, means face up on the grass, covered area, approximately 100 feet from the house, the victim had a sharp force injury in the mid chest, small superficial injuries in the left side of the chest, below the nipple, and a superficial semi lunar injury in the lower left quadrant of the abdomen. The victim also had an abrasion above the left eye and on the left cheek. The descendant also had abrasions of the anterior aspect of the right lower leg and a laceration to the right foot with a avolated flap of skin on the foot. Now, nowhere in any of these statements since Mrs. Swit, who's now Mrs. Fox, state's attorney office briefly looked at this case this is murder this is up front this is personal okay Let's the victim forget. was deceased in a t-shirt and shorts and was without shoes evidence of medical intervention in the form of electrocardiographic leads and pacing pads as well as an intravenous catheter in the left Anticubical fossa was noted. And Detective Golinski led me to the house where plates with food as well as silverware could be seen. The food consists of several items, including what appeared to be a steak. Detective Golinski pointed out the handle of a steak knife in the living room and the blade of what appeared to be a steak knife in the kitchen next to the sink as well as slight blood on the door frame. They never used luminol. 
They never went in that house and did any investigation they just because the murder it. was in the home. No luminol, no black lighting of the blood. The blood splattered, so it doesn't matter if you paint over it. It doesn't matter if it's 21 years. Why isn't this case open and why aren't we getting justice? And now my granddaughter is going to read another convoluted statement. This is by Neil McCartley. In one of our vid previous videos, we had done a video on him. I just wanted to state that my grandmother, you know, after digging some digging, had found that he arrived on the scene at 21.45 and left at 22.14. Right. Okay. Now, in this statement, of course, this is one of the packets I looked at in the very beginning, which was an hour time and 28 miles 28 minutes or 28 minutes sorry one hour and 28 minutes for i can't read that last part you made that note there uh, five minute statement this statement's all okay. five minutes on nine nine of 99 and what i'm gonna read from here is what i highlighted in this packet it said the found to be in an astral an audible or small laceration to the center of the chest and a second one left lateral of the abdomen. There was negative bleeding and rescue breathing with the breather mask. They had a breathing mask on him and supposedly also started a IV with two doses of epinephrine. Now, first of all, the first EMS that arrived, if I'm not mistaken, said, I believe it was Mr. Sweely. Yes, it was. That said his was dead on the scene. My question is, why are you going to start an IV and a breather mask if you knew he was already not breathing, if you knew the body was cold to the touch, and you saw all these, I mean, you can't tell me, they, they had him in a sheet, they had him in a shirt, I don't know what the heck he was re wearing or whatever, but you could clearly see on his foot and on his body these lacerations, and what's really screwed up is that none of these statements make any sense. No, it also because it's says, all a cover-up. Yeah, and none of them tie in together, except for all the ones that are related to each other. Imagine that. Nepotism at its finest. Mm -hmm. It says, after all the ALS was done, we uh, rolled the body on the side to check the back for any further injuries. And at the time, we noticed some pooling of the blood and some discoloration. Then the patient was extremely cold. Now, how's that work? And apparently, within the same statement, let me double read this real quick. Anybody that was to read these statements would catch that they were coerced. Mm -hmm. They're asinine. They're unbelievable. And no one has the gumption to stand here and tell me that I'm not capable of comprehending that... What's a PVC pipe got to do with this murder? Mm -hmm. What's a PVC pipe part of the murder? Makes another you wonder, thing, doesn't it? Another thing is he was asked how long he thought that the body would have laid there before it would have gotten cold. Now, in this previous same previous video, I also had searched up how long it would take for your muscles and your bloodline and your veins and core of your body to get cold after being deceased. He said the body wasn't laying there, but maybe guessing about 20 minutes prior to our arrival. But yet the body was extremely cold, but it takes up to 12 hours for a body to get cold to the core and about 20 hours, excuse me, 20 hours to get cold to the core and 12 hours for the bloodstream to start doing its thing. I'm not sure what they call that. I'm not really all into that part. But he also said that there was a, laid there for an excessive period of time before you were notified. And the answer was no and no, which I feel like is a lie. Because what do you mean it's going to be sitting there for 20 minutes if it takes 12 hours or 20 hours for a body to get cold? So was his body cold or was his body warm? Was his body starting to get cold? There's three statements saying that his body was cold. And remember... You can look all this up, and I'm going to say it again, under Susan L. Schmidt, 
on YouTube, there will be a little purple circle with the S in it. And you can see all the videos. Because I'm not quitting. And I'm over number 50 right now. And what we found in this, when we're not even halfway through what we know or where we're going with it. There's one more thing I kind of want to read here. All right. Apparently the question is, is end understanding that it's just a guess.